Now this is a simple veneer biotope. This is one of the simplest that we've found so far in Dorset. And this is a, a section of video recorded off of Dalston Head in 2018. And we're here looking towards the cliffs of Dalston. You can see in the background the boulder screen at the bottom of the cliffs with a diver. And in the foreground is the biotope we're looking at to the right of the picture now. And that is basically sand over a bedrock base. Now a veneer biotope is basically defined by a mobile layer of sediment over bedrock. And that mobile layer limits what can grow underneath. Here you see rock with seaweeds on and some seaweeds are more prone to being scoured off or blanketed by a mobile layer of, of sand or other sediment than others. The same applies to um, sessile animals. Here we're starting to look at what's underneath the sand in this position and you've got cobbles and you've got pebbles and they're very very clean because all of this material at the base of the cliffs moves in the winter when um, waves combined with tides and shift the whole lot. And here we see mobile sand here on the right we can see what might be drift algae but it's actually not. Here we've got uh, Onfeldia plicata, black scourweed with plucanium growing on it as an epiphyte we're fanning away here trying to get to the bedrock underneath can't quite manage it, the veneer is quite deep here you can see the two different algae and that's how deep the veneer is. We're now down to bedrock. We can't quite clear away the sand because it is so mobile. But these seaweeds are actually growing through. And that basically defines your veneer biotope. To be a veneer biotope, you must have bedrock or other hard surface with animals or plants attached to the bedrock growing through or underneath the mobile sediment. Here we can see an area of mobile sediment and on top of the bedrock there is this uh, this slab, small boulder. It's a fairly flat boulder but when we start fanning in a moment we'll be able to see that there are red crusts and pink coralline crusts and also a few small worms and bryozoans. Most of the worms and the bryozoans are dead but the red crusts and the pink coralline crusts are all alive O. So that is a very simple veneer biotope. Moving over the uh, deep sediment here, and this is about five to six inches deep, now we have a, a raised area of rock, and on the verticals, a lot of pink coralline crusts. Fanning away here, we should be able to see in a moment that the pink coralline crusts are present underneath quite a deep layer of sand. Also on the verticals where there's uh, less sediment but there's also scour don't forget. There are algae and a few sponges growing. And on the top we have coralline crusts which we can quite clearly see on the edge and a variety of algae, algae which are growing through mobile sand. This is why we call this a simple veneer biotope because there are not many species here. Mobile sand is either scouring away or blanketing all the species that might otherwise be on this rock. Now blanketing is the other way a veneer acts on the species which are attached to the rock. It basically either removes light for photosynthesis or it removes access to clean water for um, respiration or for feeding. Coralline algae can tick over for quite a long time without light. They can just respire. They're actually quite good at storing photosynthate for energy for respiration and they also can tick over at a very low level of activity whilst they're in the dark. 
if you were looking at more areas. And in the background you've got the rise of the boulder wall. This is an area very close to the main area and here we see an area of mobile cobbles and gravel with a little bit of sand mixed in and also underneath you still have areas of uh, bedrock just saw on the right hand side there with coralline algae but as there is only the one species there the coralline algae and all this other material even though it's large it is mobile so qualifies as sediment and not stony reef I would not count this particular area as a sediment veneer and here you can see scour at the base of this vertical everything is removed from the rock by the movement of these very coarse sediments I hope that makes sense as a very simple sediment veneer